in this segment we would be looking into salam contract salam contract is a deferred delivery contract let me remind you that the base level contract in islamic law is a spot sale contract in a spot sale contract both the price and the delivery of the sold item take place immediately now ek hath se price li jati hai dusre hath se becha hua saman de diya jata hai however there are some contracts sale contracts in which case either the price can be deferred i e ba muajjal which we previously studied or delivery of the sold item can be deferred which is the subject matter of a salam contract a salam contract historically has been used for sale and purchase of the agricultural produce so this has relevance for the sale and purchase of uh, agricultural items before they have uh, come into the market it must be emphasized that in case of salam the produce of a specific field ke is acre se jo produce hogi ye salam pe bechi ja rahi hai aisa mumkin nahi hai the goods and uh, the the goods which are sold on the salam basis they should be gen generic in nature now for the seller in case of farming for example salam is a tool for generating liquidity farmers ko normally paison ki zarurat hoti hai to wo uh, wheat rice whatever they expect to have in future they can sell it uh, through a salam contract isi tarah buyer ka bhi incentive hai buyer may be interested in buying uh, on the basis of salam because they want to make sure that they have adequate supply of that item in their business ek aur cheez jo ke important hai wo ye hai ke salam price is normally less than the current market price of the item in case of bay muajjal it was the other way around in case of a deferred price it is normally the case that the deferred price is higher than the current market price in case of a salam contract the salam price is normally lower than the current market price because it allows this the seller to have some kind of liquidity i e use abhi paise mil jate hain to salam maine jo pehle bhi kaha tha ki ye generically istemal ho sakti hai main ye nahi kisi ko keh sakta ki ye item main aapko salam basis pe bechunga ya bech raha hu isliye ke salam contract ke liye requirement ye hai ke जो चीज आप बेचें वो तलाफी ना हो जाए अगर मैं ये कहूं कि ये आइटम मैं आपको सलम बेसिस पे बेच रहा हूं लेकिन तीन महीने बाद ये टूट जाए या गायब हो जाए आई वुड नॉट बी एबल टू डिलीवर दिस आइटम हेंस वी कैन से दैट आई एम सेलिंग एप्पल ट्वेल्व प्रो मैक्स टू यू on a salam basis whereby i would be able to deliver the item after 3 months but i cannot say that i am selling you this apple 12 pro max because this is not accepted in islamic law now another question which is uh, important sometimes people say that salam may be a forward sale contract i must clarify that in islamic law there is no recognition of a forward sale contract why because in case of a forward sale contract both the price 
and the delivery they take place in future in islamic law in general one of the two things can be delayed either the price or the delivery not both a conventional forward sale contract actually allows two transacting parties to pay the price in future and have the delivery in the future as well which is not possible in case of salam salam may be a special case of a forward sale contract we might want to call it an islamic forward sale contract because it allows deferment of delivery only so from that view point uh, salam may be considered as a quasi forward sale contract but it's not like a conventional forward sale contract in countries like sudan salam is uh, used uh, quite uh, frequently by islamic banks and financial institutions in some other countries this may not be the case aakhir mein phir ye main baat batana chahunga in case of any sale contract especially in case of salam and bamu ajal where there is some kind of uh, deferment of price or deferment in delivery uh, once the price has been agreed between the two parties price cannot be sale uh, changed in case of salam for example if uh, a seller is not able to deliver the object of sale after 3 months which was agreed or promised the salam price cannot be changed it cannot be reduced so this is important to understand that once the terms and conditions of a sale contract are agreed especially the price it is not possible for any party to unilaterally change the price of uh, the object of sale depending on the circumstances with this one i would like to conclude this segment on salam sale